Hey, this is Sean of Spark Hormone Therapy. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up video to our previous venture glute injection video. And the reason we're doing another one is because there were some questions regarding the exact location. Some people said, I'm feeling bones there. I don't know exactly where to inject. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more specific on exactly where we're injecting here. This is the preferred method of administration for a testosterone intramuscular injection. The incidence of blood vessels and arteries in this area is very low. There's also a great consistency of adipose tissue in here. Uh, unlike the rear glute where we have that, that gluteus maximus is covered by a thick layer of adipose tissue. So what we want to do is locate what's called our iliac crest, which is the top of the hip bone here. So you can feel that. You want to just locate that with your thumb. So this iliac crest, the top of this, locate that, and then your femur bone. So this is the leg bone here. So the top of the femur is right here. Basically, it coincides right with the seam of your pants. So we'll locate the iliac crest, the top of the femur, and then we will make a triangle. So this is the gluteus medius muscle. Anywhere in here is a safe injection site. Basically just draw a triangle here. So the iliac crest, top of the femur. If you were a nurse or a doctor administering it, what they typically do is they put the palm of their hand on the top of the femur here, and then put their middle finger up on the iliac crest. But since we're self-administering it, we need a little bit more straightforward method. So what we do, I'm gonna go ahead and, we can see here as well, there are some veins that are running through around this area. So. This is really the sweet spot right in here. You also can do this marching motion, a little back and forth, put pressure on that leg, and you can see this muscle kind of popping out. That will give you a little bit more confidence on knowing that's the tissue that you want to be injecting into. So what we're doing today is we have a 80 unit testosterone injection. What we will do is we will take some isopropyl alcohol and a cotton pad or swab of some kind and prepare our injection site. It's also important that you, you wash your hands prior or use some kind of hand sanitizer to make sure that everything is sterile. And then we will just prepare the site for injection. What I like to do is actually lean against the wall to take pressure so that that muscle is not flexed. So I'm leaning against the wall, standing on my left leg if I'm injecting. Remove the cap. Injection is already prepared. Take this. I, I typically like to put it in two fingers like this, my middle finger and my thumb. Brace the injection. And darting like motion, inject. Depress the plunger. You can also have a band-aid ready just in case there's there's any blood. Typically this is an injection site where there it doesn't tend to bleed a lot. As you can see, no blood whatsoever. Again, you can take your cotton swab, wipe that injection, put a band-aid on. I personally rarely use band-aids unless there's bleeding of any kind. But carefully recap your needle and dispose in a sharps container. It's always important to be very aware and mindful of when you recap because you can stick yourself. The proper protocol often is to put the cap on the table vertically and then go like that, but I just want to be careful not to stick ourselves. Thank you. I hope that was helpful. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, please ask. I'd be happy to get back to you or visit sparkhormonetherapy.com.